Hi Pisces and welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. Let's jump in and see what we've got going on for you today. As always, keep in mind, take what resonates as it resonates with you. Never force anything to fit. And always look on the channel. Feel free to check out any other video that you feel drawn to. You could have messages there. Alright, so this is for any Pisces placements. If you're dealing with the Pisces, this could resonate. Just remember, flip the rolls if you have to. And keep an open mind about the timing, right? All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on for Pisces placements. At the time you find this video, what's going on for Pisces placements? What's the day about? What is the guidance that they need most at this time? Oop, for who needs to receive this message? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy could be significant. It's also talking about taking charge, taking the lead on something. All right, let's see. Pisces placements. Daily energy and advice for Pisces placements. All right. Okay. Get the clarifiers and we will begin. all right let's see what we got going on hit that like button for me if you haven't already thank you if you have subscribe to the channel if you haven't and thank you if you have thank you for all the support you show me and special thanks to my members for your extra support all right ten of wands at the bottom of the deck and the ten of wands talk, talks about um a, a burden carrying a burden Okay, it's the type of energy um, where we split ourselves too thin, uh, burn the candle at both ends. Um, it's usually, you know, where we try to do everything ourselves instead of delegating or instead of saying no to people. And we just end up being overworked, drained. It's also an energy that says that the end is in sight. Right? So if you have been going through a period of just carrying a lot on your shoulders, whether that is, you know, stuff and responsibilities and or just stress, you know, um, this is saying you're, you're coming close to the, the end of that, right? And for those of you who want to know, this is the Crow Tarot deck. Really beautiful deck. Okay, so let's see what this burden is about. What are you going to do with it? So current situation, we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like you've been carrying something. Um, it's the kind of thing that you tell yourself just a little while longer, just a little while longer. Just hang in there. Just don't don't give up. Just hang in there. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop now. Just a little while longer. It looks like there's a deadline. There's a time frame in place. Um, there's a destination in mind, right? I only have to do this until this point, and then I'll, I can let it go. So just you're, you've been you're telling yourself to just keep going, to not stop, not give up. Or this could be someone else has been telling you this and asking this of you, right? But with temperance, whatever the situation is, involves divine timing, which usually for us humans means delays, things moving very slowly, things having a mind of, of their own. Uh, things not going to plan, not our plan anyway, right? So it can be a really burdensome time. Um, it could also be a situation that something that was supposed to be temporary has turned out to be closer to permanent rather than temporary, right? Something that was supposed to go on for a day or two has been going on for about 10 months and so on, right? In the challenge position, we have the Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's... For some of you, it's going on at work or it's going on at home. Whatever it is that you have been investing towards your long-term stability, long-term prosperity, long-term health and wealth, the long-term of a relationship in your life, right? And with the Four of Swords as a challenge, for some of you, you could be covering for someone who's poorly, an earth sign potentially, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they've been laid up Um for some time and you've been covering for them at work or at home or whatever the situation is right and it's becoming quite a burden for you um, and it could be that again it's something that was supposed to be temporary 
or it's something that was supposed to last only a little while or whatever the case is has just kind of gone past that point. Um, and it's a case of, you know, I don't know how much longer I can do this um, type of situation. And for others of you, there's something, again, there's delays. Um, this is the end goal that you're working towards, okay, that you're carrying this burden for this purpose to get to this end goal. And there's just been things moving very slowly or just dealing with a lot of delays for whatever reason, right? Um, and for others of you, um, I feel like you have been waiting for someone to sign something off or to make it permanent or to make it official and that person has been poorly. Um, they've had some health issues and if not them, someone close to them. So they haven't been present, they haven't been at work, they haven't been wherever you need them to be to just go ahead and authorize something for you. So you just have to keep it going until they return, right? Or someone's on holiday, I don't know. On the mind, the six of wands and the fool. You definitely have a goal in mind. You are very close and you're going, as soon as I reach this goal, I can take a break. I can breathe. I can drop this burden. I'll have the freedom. I'll have what I want. I'll have the recognition, right? So if it's a trial period, they could have just been extending it. Or again, the manager that's supposed to sign you off and make you permanent hasn't been at work. And you're going, as soon as they come back and they sign off my paperwork and I'm a permanent employee, then I can just chill for a minute. But I have to just keep this up. I can't drop the ball now. I have to keep impressing them. You know what I mean? It's that kind of situation. In the foundation, the four of wands and the nine of swords. Yeah. For some of you, this is about a job you want, a job status you want, a promotion you want, financial stability, security. It's about a marriage. It's about building a home with someone, starting a family potentially. And it's just been a burden because it's taken a lot health-wise, potentially, financially, right? And we have three fours out now. So this does talk about a focus on stability, foundation, but it can also talk about um, structure that has caused delays, restrictions, something that has kind of been stuck. You've tried to create change or progress and it's just kind of been stuck. But yeah, this is also six of ones trying to impress someone, however that resonates for you. To try to impress, try to make a good impression. Right? And it's something that you've had to keep going because there has been a delay. In the recent past, we have the hangman, here it is, and the knight of pentacles. In the recent past, Something happened that changed the plan with the hangman and it slowed it down with the Knight of Pentacles. So it made things more difficult for you. It made things more challenging for you because you had to dedicate more time to this. You had to dedicate more resources to this. You had to dedicate more of your energy to this because of this change in the plan or change in the perception of something or change in the expectation. Because remember, with the temperance energy here, the divine timing energy, the best pl the best laid plans, right? When we make plans, God laughs. I feel like that's kind of what happened here. And recently, whatever it is, changed the plan. Whether it was an agreed plan or it was your idea of this is how it's going to go, your idea, your understanding, your perception of a time frame, Right? It got changed recently. And things got slowed down, delayed, uh, dragged out a little bit. Okay. So let's see in the outcome and advice section. The page of pentacles. Here it is. Here's the news. Here's the communication. Oh my god. I heard F and finally. F and finally, Pisces. Page of pentacles. Here's the communication that you've been hoping for about the job, about the money, about the um, someone's decision. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Oh boy. There's a communication, there's a message here 
I'm going to keep going, but with the Ten of Swords, it could be that something's coming to an abrupt ending. Now, the Queen of Wands is a positive energy. It's confidence, it's charisma, it's attraction, it's joy and happiness, attention, the right kind, right? Celebration, fun. So, if, for example, this is about you've been working double time trying to pay something off, and maybe you had more time to pay it off, and that has recently changed, and you had to work more hours, this is where you, that is the final payment. Page of Pentacles, Ten of uh, Swords, and the Queen of Wands is your freedom that comes from that fool, the Fool as well, right? So it could be in that sense. The Moon with the Three of Cups. You definitely have celebration. It's like tears of joy going on here. Something, um, a pleasant surprise. This could also be um, a surprise party, a surprise celebration. And the Eight of Swords. There's something here, I'm going to pull more cards just to clarify this ending because, let's see, why is the Eight of Swords our last card here? Ace of Wands, okay, cool, I'll take it. Judgment, okay. I was like, what are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me that I have to tell Pisces that this is going to go on longer? Because with the Eight of Swords, it's, you know, being stuck, more of the same. And I'm like, ah, uh, mm, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I don't, that's not what I want to say to Pisces. But it's clarified with the Ace of Wands and Judgment. So what this is, this is what it says, okay? For some of you, like I say, it's the confirmation. For some of you, this is where someone has served their time and getting released from prison. Or someone is getting released from the hospital, okay, after some sort of procedure operation that has affected their mobility, something on their back, potentially something on their heart, uh, something on their legs. And they're getting released. They get to come home with a clear bill of health. Hallelujah. Um, or for others of you, this could be the person. You might not even know that they are in the hospital. You just know that they're not at work. And you're going, where the hell are they? They need to sign this for me or sign this off for me. Okay. For others of you, this is that... You paying off a debt, you paying off a loan, you have to do extra t extra work, you took on extra hours, you took on extra work to be able to pay it off because it turns out they moved some dates and you had to pay it off faster or they increased your payments and you're going, I ain't doing this, I'm going to pay it off right now. Um, something along those lines, right? So you're making a big effort, you're taking a bit of a hit, right? Restricting yourself from buying other things. But here it is, the judgment. Yes, we received your final payment. This debt account is now closed. This credit is now paid off, whatever this is, right? Student loan, um, mortgage, bank loan. Even if it's a loan like from a friend or a family member, it could be that it has started to cause tension. Nine of Swords, Four of Wands. In the relationship, they're getting a bit weird about it. They're getting a bit iffy about it. Or it's a case where they're saying, listen, I have no choice. I need that money back early. I know I told you take your time with it, but I need it, I need it back early. I have this health issue. I have my friend, my family member, whatever, right? And you're going, okay, okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll make it happen, right? Because it's like my hands are tied. Nothing I can do. <clears throat> and for others of you... There is a situation where the F and finally communication is coming in. They're coming in to say, we're going to need two more days, and then you'll have your answer. Okay? So don't <laughs> chop their heads off. This is where you are waiting on someone's final answer. You're waiting on a final decision on something. You hear from them. You get the, you see the email in the inbox, and you're going, oh, F and finally, 
you open it and they go, we've moved your meeting to two days from now, or we're going to need a couple more days. Sorry, there's been a delay. We'll contact you again in a couple of days. This has been delayed. It's something, right, where there's an initial, there's the, there's, you think it's, it's it. You look at it, it's not, but there's only a slight delay, okay? Three of Cups could be two, three days. Could be two, three hours something gets delayed by, but because there's so much, you're under so much pressure and you've been carrying the stress, you could snap. And it's similar to the message that we've got recently where it's telling you, please don't snap at people, just take a deep breath if you can, because there's something better if you stay calm. And, and understanding and reasonable if you can, right? It's okay to express frustration, and but as long as it's, you know, in a respect, respectful, calm, I'm not happy, but okay, I understand, right? There's something really positive that comes from it, okay? Because here you go, the decision does come in, the offer does come in, the approval does come in, they are signing the thing, right? Whatever the situation is. <laughs> What's going on, Pisces? I was like, like even I was. Do you see what I mean? Even I was. I was doing the reading, ends in the Eight of Swords, and I'm like, uh, are you telling me that I have to tell this Pisces that's been waiting for this long and carrying a burden in the meantime? Are you telling me I have to tell him it's gonna keep going? And I nearly, you know, I got a little bit worked up. Um, took a deep breath and go, let me get more information. And then we got the clarification, right? So it's like, calm down. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. But yeah, it's that communication. that gets you all excited. It's like, oh my God, finally. And then you open it up, you look at it, and it's not. They're saying, oh, I'm going to need one more day, or I'm going to need a couple more hours, or I'm going to need three more days. <sighs> okay. But the good news is, Pisces, the silver lining is that then it will be done like it does happen it does come in you can put that burden down oh my god that's it's funny but it's not okay we have may not madness <laughs> ecstatic ritual energy release the 19 energy so you are going to come to a point where you are going to celebrate you are going to be able to take a breath you are going to be able to put a burden down you are going to be able to release something even if it's the stress of something, right? But there will be a pause where you're just going to have to take a breath and not lose your top, okay? Right before that. Enlightenment, another two energy. So yeah, two, three hours or two, three days. I'm not seeing longer than that, okay? Because you do have, it's followed by the Ace of Wands. So that's fast energy, okay? Enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, and innovation. It is coming. It is happening. The contract, the partnership, the approval, what you asked for, what you requested, what you've been praying for, what you've been waiting for, working towards, right? It is happening. Okay? Epiphany, energy, judgment, it is happening, just to make it clear. But there's going to be a, a pause and a slight delay right before. Creator, catalyst, maker, mother, father number nine so you are at the point of completion there is something here where it's like make or break so when this delay when this communication of the extra delay or when the communication of the delay happens you could go F it I don't care anymore or you could say yeah okay I'll give you the time it's a make or break. It'll be your choice. Okay? Discipline, training, consistency, and practice. 37, sorry, 34 adding up to a 7. So this is telling you, you have a choice, okay? You can stick to your training. You can stick to what you've been doing a little while longer. It won't be much longer, okay? But there will be something that is going to test you. It's going to test your patience. It's going to test your determination. It's going to test your resilience. It's going to test your 
dedication to this goal. And because you've already been through so long, so, so much and it's been so long, there will be a very strong, a lot of emotions coming to the surface, right, with the moon card and the ten of swords where you could go, you could want to go, F it. I'm not, I can't, I can't. Okay? And that's where you'll have the choice. Okay? It's not an unreasonable request technically, but because you're under so much strain and stress, it could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And you can walk away from this abruptly, Ten of Swords. You can. Or stick with it, Eight of Swords. Stick with it, stay there, keep going, and have whatever it is that you've been hoping for, praying for, working towards. All right? So it's up to you, Pisces. Um... There's no wrong answer. You're fully entitled to walk away from this thing because it does feel like, you know, it can feel like someone's just messing you about. Um, for what it's worth, if you resonate with this reading, if it feels like it's your reading, this is the last delay. If there has been delay after delay, if there has been a series of delays, right, this is the last one looking at these cards for whatever that's worth. Okay. Um, if it has been going very slowly... Again, this is the last pause. This is the last hiccup, okay? Judgment. The final one, okay? Um, final test. Final trial. It'll be up to you, King of Wands, with the Queen of Wands. There's definitely a partnership that can happen here. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. After challenges, delays, not seeing any progress, seeing very slow progress, something being delayed, something being put on on pause something being blocked frozen for some time right and you kind of had to carry a burden in the meantime whatever it is um but yeah don't give up before the miracle happens i do i do get that even if we don't have the nine of wands we do have the creator here energy with the number nine and the nine of swords leading towards the Ten of Wands. You will, you can cross that finish line. You can. There's just going to be one last hurdle, one last hiccup, one last delay, one last little test of, of patience and test of faith, and then it does happen. It's up to you how you want to handle that, right? Um, so, Pisces, that's what I have for you. I hope this makes sense. Let me know, all right? Comment and let me know. I'm always looking forward to your feedback. If you resonate with the reading, what is it that has been going on for you? What is that was supposed to be temporary and then turn into a long-term situation? What is it that was supposed to be just a one-time thing and you've been doing it for so long and covering? And what is it that you've been working towards and it's, it just got jumbled up, it got delayed, it got slowed down, it got frozen? I hope this helps, okay? I hope it, I really do, because I've been there. Heck, I am there. So... deep breath. Looking forward to your thoughts. I hope this helps you Pisces and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.